Okay, hello, welcome. We're going to be continuing with Painkiller tonight. I hope everyone's having a good Friday. It's Friday here. It's probably Thursday for a lot of other people. Oh, being ahead in time. Uh, but yes, uh, last time in Painkiller, we actually finished the main uh, story for it. The base game, that is. Which was rather surprising. Because, sorry, I, I'm just loading the game up, but I lost my train of thought. Uh, we were, uh, what's it called? We just, we finished the game last time, as I was, which was rather surprising because that last boss fight with Alistair is... A massive pain for the wrong reasons. Having to drop down onto different platforms when, you know, fall damage can kill you from 100 hit points is not the best way to do things. Uh, but yes, also, I was having conf confusion at the time because I finished the game and I wasn't able to access chapter 5. Now, I've since figured out why this is, if this game will load. Oh! Okay, there it is. Uh... Painkiller. There we go. Okay, so... I had to install a uh, fan patch for this. And... This is going to take a little bit of explaining. Not too much, though. Um, so, when we finished the game, Tower was the last level, and when we finished the game, we got this autosave for Chapter 5, Episode 1, City on Water, which is the first level in the expansion, Battle Out of Hell. And if you note, I can load it now. Now, previously, if I tried to load this, it wouldn't unlock this Chapter 5 segment here, it would instead just put me back to chapter one, like this, or the cemetery, and I couldn't select chapter five. The reason for this, and it does make sense why this is the case, but it's a bit odd. Um, for gameplay-wise, it's odd. Story-wise, it makes sense. By playing through on trauma difficulty, uh, Daniel, the main character, never absorbs any of the demon souls. Therefore, he never gets corrupted to the point that he ends up going on a rampage into the depths of hell against the demons, which is the plot of chapter 5. Um, instead, on trauma, since he doesn't get any demon souls, he's considered pure and has redeemed himself, and he ascends to heaven. That's what the ending we got was, which was quite nice. Um, but that's, of course, the um, that's not the canonical ending. So that's why we don't un unlock chapter 5. However, that aside, it would be nice if the game, if the base game did unlock chapter 5 anyway. That being considered, I'm probably going to play through on chapter 5. Can I actually change this now? <laughs> I'm probably going to have to play through it on trauma, aren't I? Because I can't actually change the difficulty uh, mid-campaign. Because I'd have to start a new one on the higher difficulty. Or I could just do this. But I don't really want to do that, so... Let's just continue on trauma then. I might do a little bit at the ending of uh, chapter 5 where I show off the demon powers, because it's a bit of a shame that we haven't been able to see them at all. Only when I defeat a boss. And then you don't get the full scope of what it is, because... You're blasting an already dead creature, and <laughs> you're not seeing, like, you know, hordes of demons get blown to pieces by wine bullets or whatever they are. Anyway, city on water. Uh, card unlocking, state, unlocking status is find every secret place. Okay, and we have our cards still active. Vitality, blessing, yep. Uh, endurance, haste, and double haste. Wait, no, there's, there's the wrong ones. I was looking at these ones down here. These ones up here. Uh, Dexterity, Fury, and Iron Will. Yep. 
pool. Okay, let's continue then. So yes, I just had to download a small patch, which was really easy. It was just like dropping the files into a folder. You have to create, I had to create two folders for this file to go into, but it was just as simple as placing the file into a folder and it working from that anyway. That was wonderful. I'm still used to Doom again. This is City on Water, which I believe is based off of Venice. Very nice. And we got this crate here. With ammunition in them. So let's break all these. I don't know if I know where all the secrets are in this level. There's six of them. Getting close to the uh, end of the original game. Can I move that? Is that blocking a hole or something? I don't think so. There, to there, and you, there we go, and you, and you. Uh, oh. <laughs> Enemies have spawned. If I remember correctly, the enemies in this are similar to the ones in the, uh... Prison. Well... Oops. Can I move along there? No. What about here? Nope. Okay. Ah! Yep. Did we get a new weapon in this? I don't know. And you. And now. Get you. Hold up. Just turn my headphones down a little. There we go. Come on, where are you? There you are. Damn it! No! Uh oh. No! You see that the crows are uh, chasing after the bodies. They're trying to fly away with them. <laughs> okay. I'm probably going to have to be careful with some of these boxes. I might have to use them to get up to spots. Oh, you. Damn it. There we go. Out of here, birds. Oh, I see. The ammunition is in, it's not really inside the boxes. It's just the boxes are covering the ammunition, and you can't move the boxes if there's ammunition underneath them. I don't think I can. Maybe they've just made things a lot harder to do. I can't push that. Oh, it dropped a gem. <laughs> yeah. I just picked up the ammunition again, which is underneath the uh, boxes. Without destroying the box. Okay. So the big boxes I can't push around. I don't feel troubled by destroying them then. Uh, hey, secret. 
I'll forget the flashlight. Uh. And is there someone which we're supposed to be killing? Hmm. I think this was a frequent issue with this level, in that sometimes enemies would be on a building, like on the roof of a building somewhere like up there and you wouldn't necessarily see them. Okay. Go get those crates over there. But yes, I believe a bunch of places on this map, since it's based on Venice, are actually based off of real buildings in Venice. So I wouldn't be able to say which ones exactly. I think one of them might be the Doge Palace, from what I remember briefly seeing on the uh, Painkiller Wiki. Ooh, hang on. Did that open up door there? No, it didn't. Okay. What? Hold on. Ooh. Not to me. No! Oh yeah, these guys. I always wanted to hit them square in that, uh... Square in that, like, amulet they have around their chest. They just got like spiked bats with nails in them. The forces of evil are really not that imaginative. Here. No. No. <laughs> a pinion to the wall. Ceiling. Let's see how much loot's in here. Uh, oh. I'm busy! Can't you see I'm looting a body? Ugh! How much have I got? 315. Display cabinet doesn't say anything specific on it. Uh... Okay. Just bumped that. Now, I think in this level, some of the things are like having to jump to these little, like, these little, um... What do you call it? Balconies. And, uh... Having to get things on them. But of course falling into the water is instant is instant death. Uh. Damn it, I didn't mean to up the checkpoint. I can't get up there. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Is this a secret? Or did. <sighs> what? No, it's 
not. Oh, they throw volatiles. Where are you? Oh, there. Can I get over there? There's probably going to be a few deaths in this level as I try and find secret areas. Ugh. Falling into the water and all that. Ah. Like so! Oh well. What's a little secret hunting without a bit of death? And uh, let's not bother try going into there. I thought I was being clever. But turns out again I wasn't. Uh Can I like jump onto there? I can. There's nothing over there. Like I can't open those. You can't really adjust your movement too precisely on the ledge. <laughs> uh. Fine. Uh, let's just go on. Wham! Wham! No. No. Uh, this isn't the room which I saw while I was down there. There's another room over there with, uh, up a bit further. With more ammunition in it. They're busy shooting each other. Come on, you. Yeah, there's a room above me. Do I just go up the stairs to get there? I do. Hmm. Uh. Let's go down and this way. I can go in there. That's open now. Can I go over here? I can. These places are connected. Okay. I have a feeling you can get up onto the roof. I think one of the things you have to do is like climb that scaffolding and then like jump onto the roof or something. Though I have to be careful destroying enemies on them. Stop that. Oh. Huh. And you. I oh like how different, how much trouble they're having getting up the stairs. Like the stairs slow them down so much. Oh. No. No, lad. Ow. Okay, what if I go this way? Some more ammunition. 
a blocked door. There's nothing under the stairs, is there? Nope. Uh, and I can't go back. Okay. Fine, fine. Well, you just destroyed the scaffolding over there. Uh, thank you. I hope I didn't need that. Oh! Wow, they've got a heck of a throwing arm on them. Let me out of that! Oh boy. Oh, I could do with some health. Oh, there you are. No. I do anything else up here. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Oh, there you are. He's just wandering around. Yes, whatever you said. Where? Oh. Those are probably the best way to get rid of those. Hmm. Since it just means all the uh, crates break instantly and all the coins drop onto the one spot rather than using a painkiller, knocking them over and having some of them fall into the water. Bell here. Why is it making tolling noise? Armor. Nice, nice. You know, some health would not go amiss. Careful bouncing off of those barrels. Is there anything up here? There was some health somewhere, wasn't there? I thought I saw some. Did I pick it up? I can't remember. Ah, oh, let's drop down. Again. And I'll go back and have a look. Oh, I'll have to go back anyway. Is there anything over here? No. 
Just some sprites. Excuse me. Ow. Right, two hit points. Wow, I mean, you know, if you took offense at me having two hit points, you may as well take it down to one. Uh. Ah. Well, one hit point run. Ah, health! Give me, give me, give me. Thank you. 24 hit points. Yes! Skeletons with sh skull headed biker guys with shotguns. That's your arm? Yes, it is. Is there another one of you up there somewhere? Music's fading out, but... Do I have to go up some stairs? I do! No! 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 Always check behind you. I see that gold. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Ow! Son. Yeah. <laughs> Another way up, is it? it? Is and is there anything of value up here? Nope. Can I break those? I can. That's pretty cool. It does a nice sort of in, in segments breaking. It's a small thing. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. Much more impressive at the time, but... I remember having ages of fun with, uh... The demo of... Uh, the demo of Red Faction. And 
That game had uh, destructible environments. You could blow holes in the dirt walls of the mines and all that. But, um, oh, it did kill you. Um, but one of the levels which you got in it was a glass house, and you got a whole bunch of weapons to mess around with on this glass house map. And you could just blow up the glass house mine through the walls with a rocket launcher. Break all the glass in the house and all that. I remember trying to break all the windows at all the windows at once. There was no objective to it. It was just to uh, show off the engine. But it was I got a lot I got quite a lot of fun out of it. Oh. Or it's, you know, just as simple a tech demo as it was. As I said, I'd mine through the walls and make tunnels onto the roof. Into the roof so I could drop down on top of the glass house. And all that. I had to find that. Show it off sometime. That one. Oh. I wonder if this is increasing my damage, Del. Ow. How much more damage would I deal if I used my cards? No. Ow. Sometimes it's just best to stay out in the open areas because the enemies spawn from around the corners. <sighs> okay. I'm not too interested in picking up the money. Okay. Damn raven crows. They're just <laughs> I love them. They're, they're just flying around like latching onto the corpses and trying to take them away. <laughs> Look at them, they're just like, they're just like messing around with the ragdolls, but, oh, it's great. Look at them pecking on, <laughs> that amuses me far too much. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give coin. Also, just sending them flying every which way is very easy. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. I'm thankful the minigun is an instant, is a, uh, is a, what's it called? I'm thankful the minigun in this is a, uh, it's scan weapon. Makes dealing with enemies from a distance much easier, especially ones which are really picky, like um, finicky to hit, like those guys. There's a guy up on the roof there. No. That reminds me of Serious Sam with those. What are they called? The big green lizard guys with chuck fireballs. I think it starts with a Z. Anyway. Uh, 
They're always off in the distance, pelting you with those big meteors. Okay, and the exit's over there. Okay. Dead. We're probably not going to be able to find all the secrets. But I found one. I've got one hit point left again. Okay. Oh, I'm using my card. If I have to get through this with, like, invincibility, then I'll... Great, great. Of course, once it wears off... It's going to be tricky. I didn't realize I had one hit point again. Oh boy. These shotgunner guys are really quite tough. Ow. Is there any health around here which I could pick up? The game's really stingy. Whereas I did choose to play on trauma. There's some armor, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> actually it did! Hell, I took a shot and I didn't actually lose any health. Actually, I suppose they were all dealing with each other down there. Because I kept, you know, moving around them. Oh! You see that? The uh, skeleton guy is holding one of the uh, machine gunner guys in front of him as a uh, human shield. Human shield? So he actually kills one, picks him up. And then holds him to protect himself from your bullets. That's kind of cool. See if I can get another shot, a, a different, a better uh, view of that. I like how the enemies have like interactions with each other like that. But it's really not something you get to see too much of. Oh, no, no, no. There. See? They just walk up. There, yeah, there. You can just see it there. He's. He, they just walk up, pick him up, and hold them. As a living shield. That's pretty cool. Ah! Uh. It does seem like bunny hopping makes you much harder to hit. Obviously, it, but I mean, like, nah. Able to, like, see, like, they're firing at me and they're still missing. Or Satsuzu. Ow! Lose all momentum. Dog, 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 dog. Can you say? Uh, uh. 
say anything. Damn it. So I was like, firing rockets in between pillars as you move through like a, uh, what's it called? Cloister like that. Oy. One false rocket means that you end up hitting a pillar, killing yourself. Actually, I could do this, couldn't I? If I keep them collected in the center like that, the old fire of this would actually be kind of useful. Because it fires the um, old disc and it does an area of effect sort of, well, zappy area around it where it lands for a little bit. Just keep buddy hopping and hope that they end up whittling down their own numbers. Thrilling combat here, folks. Go over there, get that armor. Do that maybe two or three times and then... Ow. No, 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 no. Uh. Wonderful. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't clicking the mouse. Uh. Okay. Get the armor. Get out of it. No! Bad giant skeleton things. Oh, you sod! Oh, I thought he was going to be paralyzed by the lightning. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh.
This is certainly tricky. Go, 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 get armor. Okay. How was that doing? Just luck, I suppose, getting it before. Being able to go around the oyster as many times as I did. Thank you. No, 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 no. 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 I don't trust you guys. Is that it? It's gonna be like one more guy, isn't there? Up on the roof. That was the end. Well, I feel better about using the card there then. Okay. Is there any like health up here I could have gotten? No. I thought I'd see it drop. I suppose they're just doors which never open. Okay. Uh, let's leave here. I'm not interested in getting the card. Yay! Yeah, I did get the card. Okay, level two. Docks. Morph into demon at least three times. Well, we can't do that. That would mean you'd have to collect at least 300 souls. Just to morph into the demon, you have to have collected uh, 100 souls each time. Math. Okay. Don't actually really remember this level. Well, okay, that's nice. I got some armor. Uh. Uh -oh. They got like nail guns? Ooh, hey. <laughs> Squish. Oh, they got crowbars too. Ow.
No. You're all just fighting amongst yourselves. Wow, that was... There must have... There must have been some barrels behind me. Wait. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. And back down we go. I wonder if there's any, like, secrets on those beams there. Ten secrets! There probably is, then. <laughs> Squish. I think you don't have eyes. Ah. Uh, ow! They've got a long range on those nail guns. Let us try again. Yeah. Let me drop down. What? How did even... That could be problematic. Oh, the crate had already fallen. Someone else must have shot it there. With the water right nearby, I don't particularly want to be 
bunny hopping left and right too much. There we go. And pick up all this. This. Oh, we didn't get to have the uh, trap sprung on us this time. I don't think we need to, like, skadoodle around the edge of that fence to get those, that ammunition up there. Uh, ooh. There's some more ammunition. There we go. Can I get past these? No. Oh, these ones are drunk. They've got bottles. Ow! Some of them are. Yeah, there. Can't make it out. It's too blurry. Boom. As you can see with all these enemies running all over the place, collecting a hundred uh, souls three times would be rather difficult because you'd have to be on right on top of it so that you collect enough before they uh, disappear you could give yourself the passives which would uh, the passive cards which would make it a bit easier ow what's this say? Santa toy Uh, is there anything around here? I can't go behind there. It just looks like there's infinite void stretching off into the distance there, so I won't bother. Hmm. Long vehicle. That all that I can read. Draw it. Uh, oh, over there. And onwards. Ow, ow, ow. It's like... It's like... Getting bitten by... So many mosquitoes.
Come on. Ow! Damn, dude! That's a different guy. Got like a grenade launcher? Hmm. I can actually shoot over the uh, box thing. Okay, anyone else? And... Where? Um, right. Where did that come from? Okay. And there. <laughs> Not done with painkiller yet. This is the longest fuck shooter. Um, well, we're on the last chapter. There's a lot of content. I'm quite glad for that. I really do enjoy the game. This is the expansion, actually, but, you know, it continues the story of the first game, so I'm just counting it as part of the game. Also, just because the boss fight at the end is... Well, the last level is really interesting. Style-wise. Ow! <laughs> and also welcome uh where are oh, there no uh -uh. limit hit points <laughs> okay good Something tells me the rocket launcher minigun is my favorite gun. It is very versatile. 
the rockets to get rid of groups of enemies and the minigun is pinpoint accurate and it's also hit scan, so it's great for dealing with enemies at long range. The only thing it would have against it is the rockets are uh, if the enemies are too close. So you have to sort of switch to the minigun in close combat, but it's a good combo. I think it's better than the shotgun in that regard. And I do prefer the stake gun over the shotgun, even though the stake gun fires much slower. So. Like that, you just fire at the feet of the enemy and blow them up. And you can get rid of multiples at once. Yeah. Damn it. Like that. Like long range. Just mini gun it. There's no there, there's a, if there's any deviation on the uh if there's any bullet spread at long range for the minigun, it's very minimal. Any new weapons in the expansion? I don't think so. I haven't had any yet, and I honestly can't remember, which I assume would mean that there isn't. Um, where are we going? Oh, over there. Yay, two hit points. Could I have some more health, please, game? That'd be great. Any health around here? No. Hmm. I really need health. I do. The game's being so stingy on it. There's some ammunition on that. The boat in the dry dock there. Yeah. I mean, I had health. I was like, am I going to make that? No. Uh, but then it was too late, for I had already launched myself off the edge. Uh. Okay, so, like, where would I need to go? Oh, just drop down there. Or not? I suppose that works. Give me coin, ring, whatever it is. Ah, there's some health. I seize it. That's a big health, too. Uh, you're not gonna make it easy on me, are you? Okay, forget this. I'm not dying now. Cards, go! Oh, they have a burp attack. <laughs> I was wondering what those guys with the bottles could do. I thought perhaps that they would throw their bottles, but nope. Oh, hello. Shotgun skeletons. Ugh. I'd like that ammunition, uh, that health of right about now. Good 
Food gravy, that was close. Please tell me I can get up there and get that. Come on, game, don't be like that. Oh. Wait. That's gonna have to be something like, I blew up the boxes, I'm not able to get up there anymore, isn't it? Unless I can skadoodle all the way around that edge. Game, it's health. I need health. We are playing through on these levels on a difficulty which it wasn't really made for. You're not really supposed to be able to play through Chapter 5 on Trauma. As I explained, uh, the reason why we couldn't get access to this level originally is because... By playing through on Trauma, you get an alternate ending. It's actually a good ending. But that means you don't get Chapter 5, because Chapter 5 is only follows through on the canonical bandit bad ending. Damn it! Oh well. I'm just gonna have to get good. Jump first, calculate later. Look up. You mean jump on there? Maybe. Have a look. I'll see whether I can get up on that. Uh, hmm. How would I get up there? Uh, hmm. Like, I understand jumping from there to there, but... Mm. Get! Yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to get up there. Can't really like bunny hop up there, unless I can. Come on, come on, Daniel. Show me those bunny hopping skills. That might be possible. Too far. Oh. <laughs> I went around it twice. Uh. Problem is, I have to keep jumping, otherwise I'll f slide off of it. This is for health! We need to... get... <sighs> There's something yellow on the building to the right too. Uh, if you mean up there, yeah, yeah that's a uh, relic. Which I'm less interested in getting. I don't know exactly what they do. They might give you a bunch of money if you collect them. Yeah, but they're like other hidden items, but they don't give you like health or ammunition or anything. Yeah. Why am I having so much difficulty with this now? Come on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Daniel. <sighs> on another building to the right. Up there. That's probably another relic. They have a big gold glow around them. Uh. Well, unless there's other health somewhere, I think I blew up my chances of getting that health. Because I can't seem to bunny hop my way up that incline. Yeah. 
You really don't have that high of a jump in this. Yeah. Just have a ladder on it. That's all I ask. Card which increases your jumping height would be much better. I did explore to the right. Yeah, let's have a look over there. Before I go. Uh, well, there's some more ammunition behind here. Can I like make those drop? No. Hmm. Oh well. Damn you, health. It's just one big tease. Ah! Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's just like, nah. Glug, 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 glug. Isn't there a rocket jump in this game? Um, I don't think so. Pretty much. From what I understand, all the movement is based on bunny hopping. Well, I could shoot under myself to make myself go higher, maybe, but whether I'd survive it or not. I don't think there's actually really bunny hopping in Painkiller. Ow. There was something explosive next to me, isn't there? Wasn't there? Uh. Like that. <laughs> I just demonstrating there completely intentionally uh, the dangers of trying to fire a rocket underneath your own feet. It wouldn't uh, reduce the amount of damage it deals to me, like in, say, Team Fortress 2, where it's more actively encouraged. Oh, so maybe they're just firing rockets at me. I'm just going to have to get rid of those things now. Maybe now that the thing was destroyed, it looks like it made a ramp. Possibly. I'll have to clear out the enemies before I can have a look. And try not kill myself whenever I load. It's probably because I'm pressing the mouse button twice or something when I load, when I try and load the game. Just click once. Click once and don't get impatient. If I could just stay up here. What the? They're all like walking around on each other's heads over there. Flaming mass. There we go. Ah. That wasn't too difficult, just stand back. That would be healthier. All that rub all that wreckage disappeared. Okay, that's not explosive. Hmm. Well, up we go. No. No. 
No. Don't fall into the water. Water's bad. Daniel can't swim. Ow. <laughs> Daniel isn't scared of anything except the water. Uh, traumatic memory says what it is. The water was the real enemy all along. I keep thinking that there's maybe more, uh, more space towards back there than I actually have. Like it ends earlier than you'd think. Damn you, I walked into that. You have a look and see if I can, you can find how to get the health back there. Okay, well, thanks. I suspect I'll have, I would have to have used some of the crates which blew up during the battle to get up there. And you! And you! There we go. What else? I saw you run around the corner there. Okay, we're making it. If you need the help, this, this level is called Docks and it's episode it's chapter five episode two or level two uh hmm, actually no that's too far away for me to jump onto it from here I just grab that checkpoint. Oh, don't tell me there's an invisible wall along that fence. That would be dumb and lame. Damn it! Game. Why are you being so restrictive? There's a lot of them on top of the cranes. Lumbago. Okay. Good name for a ship. I can jump onto there from up here. It's probably going to be too high up. Yeah. Maybe I could skidoodle down from up here, but I feel like I'd just end up dying. And I wouldn't be able to get back up because I don't think the lift would go down again.
I think you found how to get the health down there. Hmm. Jump on the crane. Uh. Possibly. Which crane? The one I'm on. Now go up. Up here. Oh, there's some. Hey. Health. Thank you. Ah, that will be helpful. Thank you very much. Neat. Now watch as I lose all of it, trying to drop down here. Now what? <laughs> um. Yeah, a ladder would be great game. Let's go back up here. And... Well, I'll have to land on that boat, so... Go back to where I got off the lift. Yeah. There's something at the end here. I suppose I could drop onto that crate there. Drop onto there and there, there. Hmm. I hope people watching don't get vertigo. There it is. Oh, bugger. Oh well, it didn't deal too much damage. Oh great. No. But yeah, there's like... 10 secrets in this level. I got one of them. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> uh. There was a bomb thing on top of the cranes. Bomb thing. Hmm. Oh, crates. Okay. Yep, yep. Oh, I think I see. Ow. Where did that come from? Oh, there. Boom. Wee. <laughs> Ow. Right. Well, so much for the health. The one stack near me. You mean the big skull thingy? Oh, I'll probably get a chance to look.
Okay. Uh, yeah, there's this big skull thingy there. Yeah, that's like a, uh, uh, what's it called? It's like a damage power-up. Temporary damage boost. Uh, oof, uh, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> Daniel, the man with nerves of steel. Uh. Okay. Oh. It's a damage boost. Ow! Ow! Frank, googly moogly. It gives health too, does it? Hmm. I didn't notice. Did my health go up when I picked it up. That's nice. Okay, well we'll definitely uh, expend the effort to get that again, if that's the case. That'll make the drop more reasonable. And there. You went from 95 to 120 when I picked it up. Oh yeah! Hm. Eat. Okay. Go! Explosive barrels and all that behind me. Or people with grenade launchers right behind me. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Wow. I like those guys and they, they have that, they bounce move where they jump really high just so they, they can see you. And it's annoying, but it's funny. Okay, where are you? I'll sod you. I look every which way and there's no one there. And then I come back and there's some guys there. Painkiller, a very fair game. It's a very uh, intense game. I do like the challenge it provides. Enemies spawning behind you, eh, you know. And this is... I, I do kind of get the feeling that trauma difficulty is not exactly one of the most play-tested uh, difficulties ever added into a game. Just because the levels without the... Uh, I think they're rocket jumping, actually. The uh, levels without the ability to pick up souls which heal you in the other difficulties there there's really not enough health in the levels removing after you remove that so normally as i've said before i would be healing small amounts of health from every soul i pick up from every enemy i defeat so you can sustain yourself during battle a bit better uh, as it is i'm relying on the health pickups in the level and they're very far in between unless you find secrets
Avatar. I do still like the game a lot. I think I will showcase a bit when I finish the game, just what the other difficulties are like uh, with soul picking up and um, the demon form, which also helps a lot. Because the demon form is the thing which makes you invincible for a period of time, but able to deal with enemies really easily. Well, makes you invincible and able to deal with enemies. I think it makes you invincible? It might just make you really tough. But you could just blast away enemies really, really easily with it. There we go. Yoink. Uh, is there anything else around here? Ah, whatever. No. <laughs> Don't burp on me. That's disgusting. Yoink. Oh. Don't fly towards me like that. Uh. Yeah, I thought that would explode. I thought those were ammunition crates and not, uh, explodey crates. Oh. Uh. Okay, that's fine. Get. Anyone else? There we go. And there. And let's go. Yeah. Yep. Let's go pick up that uh, the shuriken ammunition. At least a little bit. And out here. Hey! I tried to use other weapons, but this is just so easier. Anything down here? Munition. And... Okay, checkpoint. Good. Oop. What's up here? Nothing. No, no. No. 
I wonder if they're saying anything. Something written on the back. Ow. It's the same thing as what was on the uh, what was on the shipping crates. Uh oh. No. 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 Is everyone dead? I think so. Oh, we're gonna have a fight with the captain or something. No! Okay. That's the end of the level. Up in the control deck of the ship. Nice. Let's just exit. And we couldn't do the card for that one anyway, since you know. We could have morph into the demon. Level three. Old monastery. Keep HP above 50. That's most likely not going to happen. Well, I remember this level. No. Already? Oh, hello. It's the monks! Ah! This would be another one which would be easier to do on other difficulties. Aside from being able to heal, you'd also be able to focus on my... Okay, my HP is close to 50. I'm going to focus on, uh... Collecting some souls for a while. Ah, oh, they're dropping rocks. Ugh! some new music. No. That's you. I wonder what that thing does. Wait. Uh, I got 32 of something. I don't think that's souls. Where is it? Yeah. 
Shoot the birds. You can't hit them. I think you might get a soul from that. I can't remember. Oop. That's not her. Drop down the well. Are you breathing fire? Ah. Well, we won't be getting that one because our health is 23. Now our health is zero. We definitely won't be getting it. You think there's something down the well? Hmm. Come on, and you, and you, get, there we go, and, come on, and, there we go. <sighs> also, remember, remind yourself that picking up the, uh, what's it called? Picking up the, uh, ooh, there's some health. Uh, picking up the damage increase also increases my health. Oh boy. Get out of here, monkeys. Yeah, <laughs> monkeys. The ragdolling is... So dissatisfying. <laughs> Just, I don't know. I suppose. Oh, damn it! I suppose the novel, just the novelty of the, uh, of that, the uh, novelty of the ragdoll. Do you mind? There wasn't anything behind here, was there? Nope. Okay. Let's go up here. Nothing behind, but there is something up the top. Yeah, I think I saw the, uh... Relic up there. And, uh. Oh! Where are your little spike bombs? Ow! You really do uh, attack me from out right from the get-go, don't you? Oh, I can freeze corpses? What are the use that is? Oh, 
Take it. Stop that. Manchies. Assume that's what you are. The skull didn't heal me this time. Maybe it only heals me if I'm under 120 health. Hmm. Maybe. That's interesting. I didn't actually notice that. Yeah, there's some armor down the well. Don't do that. Okay. Have to go over here. Oh. Uh, let's go. Yeah, over here. And there we go. Yeah, I don't know what that did. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't do anything on this difficulty. Uh. Oh. Okay. There's still that health there. I gotta get it. Yoink. 200 health. right up into your- Did you shoot a ball of lightning at me? Bonks with the power of lightning. Doesn't look hard to climb that church thingy. Hmm. I might be able to jump up on some rocks or something on the side. I'll have a look after I've dealt with that. Ugh. Oh, you salt. Well, that's not exactly where I want those grenades going, but... There's a guy outside this area. I can see his shadow. Ow. I thought it would have hit me because I was behind him. Oh no. Nope. Ow. I'm trying to get down the stairs. You're too fat to get down the stairs. This reminds me of in my university course. <laughs> I, I in, in my one of my university courses. In my university course, um, for 3D modeling, I did 
the class for 3D modeling, I made a church with a spiral staircase in it. And I remember it was uh, kind of difficult to make the spiral staircase big enough to be able to go up and down. Because you had to sort of overemphasize it. Ow! This feels like they made it a little bit too small. Also, my church wasn't this full of rooms. Mine just had, like, a main area with a bunch of pews in it and then an altar at the end and a spiral staircase in one corner going up to the uh, bell tower. And a little shack at the back for the maintainer to live in. Hmm? Wait, go back to the bell. Okay, let's have a look. Up, 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 get. There we go. Up, and. It's a bell made out of stone. Hey! Secret area. Anything up here? I don't think I can get any higher there. No. nothing up there. Something that would have been neat if, is if you could uh, stand on the sp stand on the stakes which you fire into the walls. Fun. Make a ladder that way, but... Oh, the clapper doesn't move. Clanger. See if I can't jump out of there. Yeah. What do you mean out the window? I wonder if there's anywhere else I could reach from here. Eh, yeah, doesn't look like it. Okay, there's also something up there. I would like to get... Oop. Hello! There? Oh. And... No! Get. Go. <laughs> ah, the birds. Get out of here. I need the biggest sea bell you have. No, that's too big. Get. Get it. They do die on their own. Uh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're very short-lived birds. Okay, so how would I do this? Hmm. Maybe jump off of there, or something. Eh. Oh well. Onwards and upwards. Also, please, let me get a checkpoint. Because I... Just did a lot of fighting, and if I was to die, I can need a checkpoint. That would be very annoying. Where? I don't like that. Where's the checkpoint? Might be able to jump down and drop onto it there. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, jeez. 
so much but the checkpoint unless it's still there it's like yes big room open area there's no way that the game's not going to spawn enemies on me Is that what the, uh, is pointing at? It's not a checkpoint, is it? I get over there, can I? <laughs> Maybe I could do that? At least I'm not getting hurt when I'm falling. Makes it easier to stomach. Ah, oh, I angled myself a little bit of thing. Oh, okay. I just can't get up there. with the explosive bombs, you monks. I was worried about this whole situation and all these pits everywhere as everyone else is. I I'm trying not to think about it. I think there's no, uh, what's it called? Telefragging. thing being physics. No! Enough with the lightning bolts. Is there no checkpoints in this entire level? <laughs> I can float quite a bunch. I can. It's very, uh, you've got a lot of maneuverability when you're bunny hopping. Uh, oh, over there. Like collecting like the power stars or something. Ah. 
Ah, oh, that broke. That. Checkpoint. Give me. Oh. Finally. I can die. <laughs> Well, so much for the health thing. I probably had failed it earlier. Right. Oh, there you are. No! Yeah, this is an interesting thing for the level. The entire uh, island is actually... The entire island is actually uh, modelled rather than like using terrain to uh, sculpt it. This is would be all created in a, uh, what's it called? Oh, it's a 3D model of the entire island. Surprisingly, no, I hadn't failed it yet. No, I haven't actually. Well, okay. Uh, let's try and keep that going then. Well. I do have my cards. I haven't used those yet. So, if need be, I can, you know, make myself invincible. Well, thanks. You know what? I gotta try and do it, uh, try and get the card for that. I don't know, I don't think there would be that much more. I don't think there would be that much more of this level. Pardon me if I'm not clear. Sometimes my tongue gets wrapped up. Ow! I'll finish this level, and then we'll be... We'll probably be able to have to finish this, uh... Finish Painkiller with one more stream after this. Might only be an hour, but... Because we're on level three. Okay, okay. That's better. Guy up there. It's a lot of content for one game. It's a pretty good game. Ow! I crap. I forgot there wasn't a floor there again. Uh Once more. With feeling. This worked pretty well. Last time. Just sort of backing myself into a corner. Like that. Uh... Okay, remember, pit, pit, pit. Okay. Do I have to just cross there? Really? Is there a safer way? Okay. 
Your reward is nothing. I suppose I'm just gonna have to keep a uh, trying to jump across that gap. <sighs> Uh, <clears throat> right. <laughs> Better that I have this that out than the uh, rocket launcher. Ow! Ow! Whatever. But I'm so close. Actually, if I'm so close, I can just use my card. I just use my cards. Okay, come here, you sod. Like, land right on the lip. There we go. Oh. <laughs> of course, and then you've got to jump back. Possibly. Because I heard you went over there, got that, then you have to jump back. Okay. Really just have to get momentum. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why? It's not like it's a particularly difficult jump. It's not particularly far, it's just... Okay. Now where do I have to go? Oh, that's saying down, I think. So it's still down here. Oh, it is back up there. There. 
Checkpoint. Oh. Thank goodness. Oh. Are the banshees bursting out of the coffin? Another checkpoint. You spoil me, game. Where I need to go? Down here. Eh. One of the best sounds to hear. Right at the bottom. Hey! Keep HP above, above 50. We actually did it! Hooray! Soul Redeemer. Souls provide more health. Oh, great. That is completely useless. Oh, well. Anyway. Chapter 4. Hell. Hmm. Actually, this is the last level. I want to do this now. I think it's a rather long level, so I think I'll leave it until next time. Uh, because we've already gone on for 20 minutes longer. Yeah, but this is the last level. Um, it might take a few times. It might only be a short 30 minutes, but I suspect it will take at least like 45 minutes, maybe now. Anyway, we'll do that next time. Ah. That were difficult, those levels. There's only four levels in this. I thought there was five. From what I remember, as I said, I think this is quite a long level. Anyway, that will be it for Painkiller for tonight. As we finish the uh, campaign of it. One more thing. Done. But that will be next time.